Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. My name is Afar Cryaway, and today we have a new Killing Floor 2 announcement from Tripwire Interactive. This has a lot of juicy tidbits of information for you to tantalize. How the fuck do you say that? Whatever. It's a really juicy update, and what we were up to update called The Road to November 18th. This is all about what's going to happen up till launch. The 10th perk is also announced in this update, which is freaking amazing. There's a lot of fixes to a lot of weapons and bug fixes and such in here as well. In here they also talk about the PlayStation version of the game as well as the PlayStation 4 Pro version with the enhanced 1080p option and 4K resolution options and improved frame rate. And lastly, they also talk about post-launch content, such as additional maps, both community creations and their own creations, as well as new weapons for most of the perks from old favorites to new ones. They're also prototyping some new community requested features and hope to start talking about those and moving forward on them to firm them up. So yeah, this is a really big content update, so we're just going to go ahead and get into some of it. Right, so in this update, we have a Destructoid.com article all about the new 10th class as well as the November release. So I'm going to go ahead and read it out loud, and then we can talk about it at the end. As Killing Floor 2 creeps closer to full Steam release this November, players have been wondering what the final perk, character class, would be. Some community folks dug into the code and found references references to the martial artist, which everyone assumed would be the faster berserker variant with a katana, maybe throwing stars, but Tripwire Interactive recently announced that the martial artist would not be the 10th perk. I asked the developer what it was going to be, and today we have the answer, the survivalist. Instead of new weapons and a new focus, the survivalist is a hybrid class that allows you to create your own build. Players have been demanding more cross-perk support, and this might just fill that niche. While the perk won't specifically excel at what other classes specialize in, it can allow your dreams of being a flaming berserker or a healing demolitionist to become true. I'll let Tripwire design team describe its intentions. The survivalist perk functions a bit differently than the other perks in that it's a jack-of-all-trades perk, whereas all the others are specialists. The survivalist has passive abilities that make it effective at a wide range of weapons and capable of withstanding an impressive amount of damage, while its skills allow the perk to serve in a number of roles based on player choices. For example, want to be a better medic than just using your injector, but also want it to have like bigger explosions and to carry more weapons? Well, the survivalist can do that. Want some extra power in your melee combat, but you also want to have a healing grenade? The survivalist can do that too. While the survivalist will not be as effective as the other perks in their chosen specialty, a survivalist will never have the raw healing potential of a field medic, they can fulfill multiple roles in a team and use combinations of weapons from multiple perks more effectively than other perks. Because of this level of complexity, the survivalist needs more attention to skill choices and playing to your strengths than other perks. The Survivalist is a veteran player's perk, as it will take knowledge and skill to make use of synergies that the Survivalist can create through selection, weapon loadouts, etc. The Survivalist is sort of a building block for a perk. It's got a lot of awesome pieces, but it's up to the player to build them in an effective combination. We went with this perk in order to give players who wanted the ability to customize their characters more ways to do so. Instead of making perks that were half one thing and half another, we created a single perk that allows players to dip into lots of different perks, letting them choose their play experience from a wide variety of options than the existing perks allowed. Secondarily, we wanted to create an option for players to, to fill a specific role in the game, like Medic, without being limited to playing a single perk. Now players can be competitive across multiple roles instead of being limited to just one, and they can use all the weapons in the game effectively while doing so. So just to interject, as a person who played a lot of the Medic when it first released and the game first came out, I hit level 25 and then I found myself getting a little bit bored playing Medic because even though I preferred to play on hard difficulty or, or you know, suicidal, I was always a level 25 medic and that made it a little bit less challenging. So now I'm pretty excited for this perk because it lets me play around with like the new M16 and all that demolition firepower while also being able to heal my teammates semi-effectively. So I'm really digging this idea of a perk and I'm actually pretty happy about it so far. Right, so to get back into this. So we can choose our own grenade types and find awesome combos? I'm into it. I still wish we could have tried out the martial artist, but maybe we'll see it later on down the line. 
Initially, I thought the survivalist seemed like a cook, a cop out, oops, because it's a new perk per se, but now I'm excited to go on to our killing floor and see what combinations everyone's going to come up with. The players who miss when sharpshooter and gunslinger were rolled into one class can have that back again. As of right now, there's no word on the survivalist and when it will be released, but with launch coming so soon, it cannot be too far off. Right, and that is the end of the article, and I really thought it was interesting how they mentioned how in Killing Floor 1, you have these opportunities with the sharpshooter to be a gunslinger and a sharpshooter at the same time, because that's kind of like what the class is all about. And in Killing Floor 2, they're two separate perks with their own perk lines. So, is it possible that we can take literally like two perks from each of those perk trees and then slam it into our survivalist perk and then maybe bring like the sharpshooter grenade with us and then we'll be able to play the old school killing floor one sharpshooter or is it i mean how's it going to let us do that is it literally just going to be like a drag and drop in perks from multiple classes or is it going to be like pre-selected things that are like the other classes perks either way it's still going to probably add to the same kind of loadout system so i'm not too distraught about how they're going to implement it as of right now um, I guess if there was any complaint I would have, it would be multiplayer balancing, because for you guys who do like the uh, PvP mode in the game, I could see this perk. I mean, let's let's be honest, it's already hard enough as the Zeds to kill things, but now you're going to have everyone running around with the potential to heal people even better. So that's going to get a little bit nutty for a little bit. But at the same time, this does open a lot of new options to play the game. And that personally makes me excited as I too saw this as a cop out when I first read it. But then I kind of thought about it and I've seen all the potentials I could have and all the cool little combinations of perks. Like I can be the flaming zerker. I can toast a bunch of zeds with a flamethrower, pull out the fucking Zweihander and go to town. Like that sounds like fun. And I don't care like what anyone says that I mean I, I think that's an awesome idea for a 10th perk because we're not limiting they're not gonna be limiting us to a perk that we might not be too into like oh boy the martial artist I'm not really that hyped for it or you can be survivalist and literally just have you know choose your own adventure Zed killing style and I, I like that I think that was a really interesting and innovative way to make the 10th perk that's my opinion of course feel free to you know uh, go and say that you don't like that and you wish you had the martial artist but like they said in this article hopefully we can see it in the future maybe later down the line because I'm sure the tripwire isn't going to just not make another perk I mean that seems silly after all of this time and all this perk creation and all the new guns I mean I could see them maybe not wanting to do one because it's a lot of work but at the same time it would be a really cool thing to have to look forward to especially like a year or two out from the game being released finally Right, so that's pretty much it for the update. Like I said, there's also a lot of bug fixes, and I will leave a link to this in the description below because it's kind of troublesome just to go over all of them with you guys. Like, I've tried to do it in the past, and it just doesn't really make for a good video. But there is a lot of good stuff in there, so feel free to go check it out for yourself. And I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, feel free to hit that like button and subscribe for more Killing Floor 2 news and information in the future. And yes, thank you all for watching. It really does mean a lot to me. I just made a Killing Floor 2 video that was all about the community and how great it is. So you guys are awesome. Really, I mean, keep doing what you're doing. You guys are the bread and butter of this game and this community, like everything you guys do. So thank you again for the third time. And I'll, I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.